Resilient Kids is a nonprofit dedicated to bringing yoga and mindfulness into the classroom for students grades K through 12. We say to kids all day long, pay attention, and we don't really ever teach them how. So what might you do that would help you cool down a little bit? Nice try. Breathing in and breathing out, it helped me calm down. My favorite thing about it is when when they um, hit the tool bar and then when they sh shake the, the glitter jar. Glitter jar? What does the glitter jar do? It helps us get out all our angry thoughts. Like if, like if your mom took away a TV for the night because you didn't clean your room or something, then you could use the glitter jar to, to get that thought out. Pretty much all of the distractions and all of the um, ways that kids aren't learning in school are due to some type of thought. Oh, I'm not good at math. And then wh what I was doing, whatever I was doing, long division, now I'm not going to do it. And when the thought comes up, well, I'm not good at math, I can say, oh, look at that thought. What a nice thought. Thank you for sharing. And go back to what I was intending on doing. When kids learn after school, they learn these great tools, but they go back into their classroom and they forget to use them. It's not, it doesn't become as habitual because they're in a new environment. When they learn in their classroom community, they see their teacher learning with them, they see all their friends learning them too, and then they can together remind each other about using the tools and how to best incorporate them into the day. I've seen um, techniques that have worked um, that the kids are asking for to use to kind of help them calm down and to settle down. To have something tangible um, has been helpful, yeah, definitely. So he said that I can do it. <gasps> Really? I can do it? That's an anchor. Yes, say we were on a hiking trip, and as we were climbing up on the rocks, they're helping one another, like shouting out, you can do it. So really making it their own. And All the way down. I like Shavasana because usually during school, I have a bunch of tasks and stuff to do and homework, and I'm just thinking about uh, many different things at once, and this class helps me just, like lose all the stress. The one thing that I mainly use is think of your happy place. Like when, for an example, when something is hard or I just need to go to a happy place, I think of, I close my eyes and think of my happy place. It actually works. The kids are learning these tools which allow them to self-regulate, which helps them feel more successful as they stay focused in their day. And it gives the teachers the ability to empower the students. Uh, Moses Brown, as you probably know, it's a very rigorous school, and uh, they come over for physical education, and we were lucky enough to have Vanessa come by and teach a few classes of yoga. You come over here, you do that, you refresh, you go back to class, ready to learn again. So it definitely has its benefits. I've taught thousands of hours of mindfulness training to adults, and they learn these practices, and they're like, I wish that I had learned this when I was, you know, 10, 11, 12. There's some reason to be implementing this at a much, you know, younger age.